morning children now let us start a new chapter sources of energy 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 is the capacity of doing work so some of the sources are there for energy so characteristics of a good source of fuel or energy giving fuel is it should have high energy output per unit mass or volume it should be easily available it should be stored very easily and transportation is easier it should be economical or cheaper in rate sources of energy there are two main sources of energy they are conventional source and non conventional source of energy let us see first conventional source of energy example is wood flowing water fossil fuels like coal petroleum natural gases and non conventional source of energy examples are solar energy wind energy biomass energy ocean energy tidal wave energy ocean thermal energy geothermal energy nuclear energy etc some sources of energy are renewable like sun wind flowing water ocean wood biomass etc and some sources are non renewable like coal petroleum and natural gases conventional sources of energy are commonly used sources first is fossil fuels these are the fuels mostly used they are formed inside the earth from the remains of plants and animal after millions of years the fossil fuels are coal petroleum and natural gases fossil fuels are non renewable resources of energy so they should be conserved and used judiciously once they will be uh, used it cannot be renewed disadvantages of fossil fuels is burning of fossil fuel release gases and harmful particle which cause air pollution burning of fossil fuel release acidic oxides sulfur dioxide nitrogen which cause acid rain which is harmful for living organism affect the soil and water causes damage to building standing crop corrosion of the metals fossil fuel also release unburned carbon particles and large amount of carbon dioxide which increase the temperature of the atmosphere leading to the global warming and this is also known as greenhouse effect you can see uh, in different pics first is greenhouse effect which uh, which is um, due to the presence of some acidic gases like sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide in our atmosphere when they combine with water they form the nitric acid and sulfuric acid and they fall in the form of precipitation and it is acid rain which kills plant pollute river stream and erodes stone works and monuments you can see the monuments like taj mahal get eroded eroded by acid rain in mathura then um, in third slide you can see the global warming and uh, global warming is due to trapping of some of the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide uh, and it traps the infrared rays which are coming from the sun which leads to heating effect on the earth surface and it leads to global rise temperature and um, we are facing this problem this leads to melting of glacier ice you can see in the next pic thermal power plant in thermal power plants the heat energy produced by burning fossil fuels like coal petroleum or natural gas is used to heat water and change it into steam and steam rotates the turbine of generator to produce electricity second is hydro power plants in hydro power plants water from rivers are stored by constructing dams the water from the dam flows down through pipes and rotate the turbine of generator to produce electricity advantages flowing water is a renewable resources of energy that's why we can use again and again the same water the electricity produced does not cause pollution it is pollution free and water stored in dams can also be used to control floods and for irrigation purpose disadvantages initial cost is high for installing the power plant hydro power plant the cost is very high large area of land gets submerged and the decomposition of vegetation produce methane gas which is greenhouse gas 
and it causes displacement of people from large areas of land you can see the thermal power plant in this pic now water uh, with the help of uh, mostly coal is used in india for heating in the thermal power plant coal heat the water in the boiler and this water get converted into steam which in turn run the turbine and turbine is connected to generator to produce the electricity hydroelectric power generation you can see the dam storage reservoir and this dam uh, gate side there and water flow down to run the turbine and in turn connected with generator to produce the electricity next is biomass energy the waste materials and dead parts of living things are called biomass example wood animal dung vegetable waste agricultural waste sewage etc biomass is decomposed by anaerobic microorganism which do not use oxygen to produce biogas biogas is a mixture of gases like methane carbon dioxide hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide h2s biogas plants the biogas plant has large underground tank made up of bricks and cement the lower part is a digester and upper part has a dome with a gas outlet on one side of the tank above the ground is a mixing tank on the other side is an overflow tank animal dung is mixed with water in the mixing tank and the slurry is sent into the digester in the digester the slurry is decomposed by anaerobic microorganism and after a few days biogas is produced the gas is taken out through the gas outlet and used for heating purpose lighting purpose etc the slurry left behind is rich in nitrogen and phosphorus and it is used as manure for crops you can see fixed dome type biogas plant slurry of cattle dung and water is mixed in the mixing tank then it is sent to the digester where biogas is produced due to anaerobic respiration and through gas outlet it it is uh, been uh, expelled out and the left out uh, slurry is kept for the manure another source of energy is wind energy wind energy is used in wind mills which convert the kinetic energy of wind into mechanical or electrical energy the kinetic energy of wind can be used to do mechanical work like lifting water from wells or grinding grains in flour mills it can also be used to rotate the turbines of generator to produce electricity a single wind mill produces only a small amount of electricity so a large number of wind mills in a large area are coupled together to produce more electricity in wind energy farm advantages of using wind energy are it is renewable source of energy it does not cause pollution the recurring cost is also very less and disadvantage is wind is not available at all time it require a large area of land a minimum wind speed of 15 km per hr is required you can see the wind mill and wind energy farm now let us talk about non conventional sources of energy or the energy which is not commonly being used first is solar energy solar energy is the energy obtained from sun in the form of heat and light the heat energy is used in solar heating devices like solar cooker solar water heater solar furnaces solar cells etc the light energy is used in the solar cells also now solar cooker the box type solar cooker has an insulated box painted black inside it is covered by glass plate which allow heat to enter inside but does not allow the heat to escape out it has a mirror to reflect more sunlight into the box the food to be cooked is kept in the container inside the box it can produce a temperature of 100 to 140 fahrenheit and now solar water heater a solar water heater has an insulated box painted black inside with a system of copper tubes it is covered with a glass plate which allow the heat to enter inside but does not allow heat to escape out when the water flows through the copper tube 
it absorbs heat and becomes hot solar cells solar cell is a device which converts solar energy into electrical energy solar cells are made up of semiconductors like silicon germanium and gallium like metals and a single solar cell produces a voltage of about 0.5 to 1 volt and produces about 0.7 watt electricity so several solar cells are arranged in solar panel to produce more electricity what are the advantage of this energy it is renewable source of energy it produces electricity which does not cause any pollution and it can be used in remote area where there is no power supply disadvantage is also there it is it uses special grade of silicon which is very expensive and since silver is used for connecting the cells together it is more expensive current produces dc current or direct current we have to convert it into alternative current or ac current to increase the and it increases the cost you can see box type solar cooker you can see water heater this is solar cell series of solar cells are connected to make the solar panels and this is solar lamp energy from the sea energy from the sea is obtained in three different forms they are tidal energy sea wave energy ocean thermal energy first is tidal energy the periodic rise and fall of sea level due to gravitational attraction of the moon causes tides a dam is constructed by a narrow opening between land and sea the movement of water during high tides and low tide can be used to rotate the turbine of generator to produce electricity second is sea wave energy when strong winds blow over the sea it produces huge waves the kinetic energy of the moving waves can be used to rotate the turbines of generator to produce electricity third is ocean thermal energy there is a temperature difference between warm surface water and the cold water at the bottom of the oceans this difference is due to is about 20 degree centigrade the warm surface water is used to boil liquid ammonia and the vapor is used to rotate the turbine of generator to produce electricity the cold water from the bottom is then pumped up to cool the vapor back to the liquid you can see the tidal energy how it is used tidal energy can be used to run the turbine it is the sea wave energy for harvesting the electricity this is the generation of electricity through ocean thermal energy due to temperature difference geothermal energy geo means are thermal means heat the deeper region of earth crust is very hot this heat melts rocks and form magma the magma moves up and collect below at the some places called hot spots the underground water in contact with hot spots get heated into steam at high pressure by drilling holes into hot spot the steam coming out can be used to rotate turbines or generator to produce electricity this is the glimpse of geothermal power plant geothermal electric plant is installed electricity to consumption center is transmitted and it can be explored another energy form is nuclear energy nuclear energy is the energy released during nuclear reactions now during nuclear reactions some mass is converted into energy and so a very large amount of energy is produced during nuclear reactions now nuclear reactions are of two types they are nuclear fission and nuclear fusion let us talk about nuclear fission it is nuclear reaction in which nucleus of a heavy atom like uranium plutonium etc is splits into smaller nuclei which release a large amount of energy it is used to make atom bombs and to produce electricity in nuclear power plants in nuclear power plant the heat energy produced by control nuclear fission chain reaction is used to produce steam which rotate the turbine of the generator to produce electricity another 
type of nuclear reaction is nuclear fusion. It is nuclear reaction in which small nuclei fuse or combine together to form a heavier nucleus with the release of large amount of energy. The energy of sun is produced by fusion of hydrogen nuclei to form helium nucleus. It is also used to make the hydrogen bomb. Advantage of nuclear energy is it produces large amount of energy per unit mass than any other source of energy. It is if safety measures are taken, it is more environmental friendly than fossil fuels. Disadvantage of nuclear energy is cost of nuclear reactor is very high. Availability of nuclear fuel is limited and nuclear react produce nuclear waste which is difficult to dispose. You can see nuclear fission reaction a heavy nucleus is broken into smaller nucleus and along with that three fast neutrons are also emitted which again get combined with the heavy nucleus and form two another product. So this reaction is known as chain reaction. You can see nuclear fission chain reaction uranium get split into barium and krypton again when krypton combined with other neutron it will combine with uranium it will form two barium and krypton and um, likewise three neutron in each nuclear fission is uh, produced and it will give the large chain reaction and the form is nuclear fusion in which two smaller nucleus combine to form a larger nucleus along with the large amount of energy and production of neutron. Let us see example of nuclear fusion in which deuterium combined with tritium nuclear fusion takes place. There is formation of helium and neutron is released along with the large amount of energy.